good. OK, let's move on now to Max Verstappen, because I know we're, we're going to have our own finger-pointing thing here, because to me that was 100% Bottas's fault. I know Max got the penalty, but my view is, when I say fault, you know that if you're going to pass Max Verstappen, you don't do it on the outside, under breaking into a tight corner. You know it's never, ever going to happen. If you're a Merc driver, you don't put yourself in that position. And what Max did was, as he said, you know, you want to ruin racing completely. Technically, probably it was a, it was a finable offence, but... You know, the guy just flared a little bit to the left on entry, just squeezed him a bit more. And, you flared know, he's had a really, a he's had a really well, a transitory curve, if you actually want the correct technical title, as defined curve. by Piero Taruffi in his original book on the technique of motor racing. Yeah, he called that little bit you do to the left before you go to a right a transitory curve. In other words, it transitions the curve. This sounds Silence. Like absolute <laughs> twom. You sound like someone the judging twaddle. panel this is strictly coming come completely. dancing, saying so your Passer Dome blow is, was merely passable. I will bring passable. in the book next week. I've got all my notes I made when I was an eight-year-old eight about the importance of the transitory curve. In the margin. Uh, not I'll in the say. margin, in the preface, actually, where it's all white pages. I drew lots of diagrams around it. Oh, that's absolutely... Mm. And I'm sure Max has done exactly the same thing with the same book. Yeah. And this is... <laughs> I, think, anyway, I think you're talking out of your transitory curves. Circle, transitory Peter. curves are not... A deviation of line. That is my point. I'd like to have anybody say I'm wrong about that. I'm not wrong. I reckon Botas will say you're wrong there, but then well, again, he yeah, probably I, would. I love Valter. He's a, he's a great racing driver, but I do think he needs a little bit more of the Lewis Hamilton. Is this the right guy to pass on the outside or not? That's the thing. And, and you don't put yourself in that position. And I agree with Max. I think it's bad for racing if you constantly penalise for things like that. This wasn't... Boom, take him out. And we've seen plenty it's of that. It's just a transitory curve. Anyway, let's it? move on to the next uh, one. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, you, that's have enough. Got more, <laughs> you have got more chance of predicting when a, a meteorite is going to land on Elvis Presley's head than you have of working out where Max Verstappen is going to transitory well, that's curve part of it, swerve in the but that's part zone. of it. that's part of the charm of Max, isn't it? He's a great racing driver. And he's always got the car flat and nice and ready to go. And everybody should recognise that. I, I will not become a critic of Max Verstappen. I refuse yeah. to do it. I'm sorry. Moving on to Dutch the next driver Dutch caravan with a wonky back axle. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. He's, he's very Transitory much... Transitory curving onto the no campsite. no way he's ever, ever had a caravan behind him, ever. He's, he's a fast, self-contained Dutch racing driver with no caravan. Yeah. All you can probably say is you should never try and pass the Dutchie on the left-hand side. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one, because obviously I've won this argument, and, we, and I'll give you a little bit of, of room on the next one now. 